Jack, you just earned your first ever win as the starting quarterback here in Northwestern. As soon as that buzzer beat down, what was the first thing going through your head? I mean, the first thing was just excitement. You know, I'm just happy. You know, I put a lot of good work in with these guys for a few years. Um, just to go out and compete with those guys and just feel that feeling of a win. Um, you know, like it, it was an awesome feeling. So I'm really excited to keep building off it, but it was I mean, that first feeling was, was awesome, and everyone was pretty fired up. So You threw for 227 yards and two touchdowns. You also rushed for 62 yards. So let's go back to the first half, because that's where you really got it done on the ground. When did things flip, and you felt that arm really start to click? I think really that two-minute drive was awesome. Um, you know, I think it, it was really just a result of, of settling in a little bit. Um, you know, I think first start, like, feet were a little, little uh, crazy. Like, I think, you know, I wasn't really trusting my reads as much, so... I think that two minute drive was a big point of emphasis for us. Um, it was great to get that before halftime and Joe made a great play and those guys all made great plays down the field. So um, that two minute drive for sure. They come out at halftime, it was all about just, just keeping it rolling, one play at a time. What helped you build your confidence as the game went on? I think really just, just more experience. You know, I, I think you know, I was trying to get better and better and better every play. Um, and I think as, as simple as it sounds, like I think just playing more and getting more settled in the game was, was everything. And I think just getting some good completions, you know, Bryce did a really good job, um, gave me some easy completions. AJ obviously had a huge game. Marshall Gore did unbelievable jobs, you know, with their reads and getting open downfield. So I think really just stacking good plays was the big thing. I asked you before the game when you felt this ready and excited for a football game, you said last Friday. Yeah. So you've stayed ready yeah. throughout the entire off season and especially the beginning of this season. What fuels you mentally to keep going and keep improving now that you've even earned the starting position? I just want to be the best player, leader, person I could be for myself and for my teammates um, and for everyone that puts a lot of hard work into winning football games here. Um, and. You know, I, I think just the competitor within me, you know, you always want to win. You always want to compete. This is the game I love. I put a lot of really good hard work into it. Um, and it's really just about the other guys, man. Like those guys, they work so hard. The other 10 guys in the offense all do their job. And um, it's really just about watching those guys win too. Michael, you came up with your first career sack today in the second half. There were nearly a dozen times last season as a first year that you had an opportunity and you came close. What went through your head after you finally notched that one? It was just really a good feeling because, you know, like we put in a lot of hard work and stuff. And to like finally like for me to be able to like make the play, even though like I've been close like so many times, like it was just a good feeling, a little bit of weight off my shoulders even too. Last year you played as a defensive end, this season you've been playing as a tackle, but today played back as an end. How do you feel like playing in both of those positions is making you a more dynamic player? Um, it's really just like whatever the team needs, you know. Uh, we had some guys go down at each position, and whatever Coach Smith thinks like I'll be best used to help the team, I think that's just what I want to do, just play winning football, uh, help the team wherever I can. But I think it's made me a more dynamic player by just – allowing me to be more versatile and do different things on the field. Defensive line coach Christian Smith is locked in with you guys, whether it's at halftime in the locker room or on the sideline. What mentality has he installed in not just you, but the entire defensive line this season? Really, it's just a brotherhood. You know, like we see, like you, you might have a bad play or something one time, but then you see your brother do something good or like just like tell you to lock in. And like, it really just like, kind of pushes you to be better. And it's just like a real competitive room, but also a real like friendly room with each other. Like we're really tight knit. And I think Coach Smith has like done a really good job of fostering that mindset in all of us. You had an opportunity today to see your brothers on the other side of the ball on the offense come up with some really big plays, especially through the second half as they really picked up momentum. How much fun is it watching them ball out out there too? It's really fun because, you know, fall camp, like tensions are a little high and stuff. Defense wants to be beat offense. Offense wants to be defense. But on game day, we're all one team. And to see like uh, them finally like, start to pick up like with their flow, with what we know they can do, and it's just like hit their stride. It's really awesome to see after all that battling in the summer. As we head into conference play next week, what are you most confident about the Northwestern defense? Uh, just the effort and mentality. You know, Coach McGargle, I think he's the best in the country at just instilling like relentless effort, um, focusing on what we can control 
And, you know, I think that's just going to be the difference for us this year. I think we're just going to play 100% every play, and I think that's just going to help us win games. AJ, you had a career night today, 117 receiving yards and one touchdown. You've never broken 100 yards before today's game. What was clicking so well tonight? Uh, I just think the game plan, we executed the game plan at a high level. Um, you know, Jack, once he settled into the game, he was able to make the throws and, um, you know, line held up great and we were able to execute at, at a high level. In the first half, the offense stalled out for a little bit. There were a few three and outs, then there was that blocked kick. But you guys turned things around. You scored on four back-to-back -back offensive drives. When did you feel that change in momentum? I think at halftime, we just kind of recentered and refocused ourselves. You know, it, was, it wasn't anything that we felt like the defense was doing to hinder us from, from what we wanted to achieve. It was us uh, kind of shooting ourselves in the foot. So, you know, just kind of refocusing and just playing true to ourselves and being ourselves is what, what is important and what coaches preach, preaches every day. So that's exactly what we did. We refocused and we recentered ourselves and went out there in the second half and executed at a high level. Who led that reset at halftime? I think it was a collective, you know, there, there were guys in the locker room who were saying that, you know, we need to lock in, we need to focus, we need to do the little things right. And then the coaches, you know, when they came in and made their little halftime adjustments, um, you know, that they said that they relayed the same thing. Quarterback Jack Lausch got his first career start under center today. You're a more senior player in your fifth year. What is it like guiding and working with a younger QB, Jack is a redshirt sophomore, and, and watching him develop into this role? Well, it's been great. It's been great. Since I got here, you know, you, you kind of see, see it in Jack. He's a hard worker. He, he goes 100% at all times. Um, and, and just to see his kind of growth and development and seeing he, him take a huge step within his first start tonight, it, it was great to see. And, you know, I feel like me and him have a great connection, and, it, and it'll only build. This week, Coach Braun has just been preaching that there's so much still to learn and so much to develop and grow. What did this week teach you about the Northwestern offense and specifically the wide receivers? Uh, you know, we got a deep group. You know, a lot of guys were able to make plays today. A lot of guys were able to get in, get into the game and rotate. And I just feel like we keep learning about ourselves, um, keep getting 1% better each day, each, each game. We're learning more about ourselves. And, you know, we just keep building upon this one in, into next week. What did tonight's game do for the mentality of the team as you start conference play next week? I think it just uh, shifted the confidence back. You know, last week was a, it was a tough week. Um, and, you know, this week of practice, it was, it was, it was a tough week of practice where we had to uh, refocus and re regain ourselves as a team. And, you know, the confidence and, and the hard work and dedication that we put in throughout this week was able to uh, show out on the field today. So I think, uh, you know, we got all the confidence and belief in our guys um, moving into conference play next week, and we're, we're excited to get, get to it. Thanks, AJ. Thank you.